Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. This is part of our beekeeping for beginners series. Uh, we've been documenting our first years of beekeeping. I am an amateur beekeeper and I'm just making these videos to kind of show people what I've learned as we go along with uh, our beehives here. This is the middle of winter. It's January 25th, 27th. I'm not good with dates. Um, and it is incredibly warm. We've had a really warm winter. We're in Northwest Connecticut, which you might not think gets cold, but this is like Wisconsin kind of cold usually. Uh, there's usually at least a foot or two of snow out here. It's 41 degrees. Uh, you can see it's, it's night. Well, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but it's really quite nice out. And you would think with bees, oh, it's good that it's warm in the winter. Well, no, it's not because what it does is uh, the bees, when it's warmer, they're more active. And that means that they need more food to stay that active. So they're eating all their food stores in the hives. In our previous videos, we've talked about feeding the bees. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna pop the tops on these. I have the insulated inner covers that I built. You can see the previous video for that. Um, there'll be a link here somewhere. Uh, you can click on that link and watch that as well. So we're gonna pop these and I'm going to add additional sugar cakes to them. I made sugar cakes last night. And I found that when you're making the sugar cakes, you need them to dry completely in the little aluminum foil trays. And I put them in the oven with the little oven light on overnight. And the oven light warms the oven enough to kind of create a little dehydrator, if you might call it that. All right, so we're gonna pop the tops on these and see what's up. There uh, aren't a lot of bees out right now. Maybe they were out earlier and did their cleansing flights and now they're just hanging out inside. So we're gonna take a look. There we go. This guy looks good. You can see here they're eating the sugar. There's plenty of sugar in this hive. So we're just going to close this back down. This is our second hive in this location. And they look good as well. You can see here they're eating the stores. There's a ton of sugar in there. These both look really good. We're down here. This is our other bee yard. This is in my friend Bill's uh, farmyard here. So you can see in here how they're clean. They're all kind of they're in a nice cluster. Together. Yep. And they're eating a big hole. But that's enough sugar for a while. That's good. Yeah, that, that amount of sugar in there. And it's frozen, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, they keep, you can see where they keep work on it. So you see how the sugar cake, I put it in a pan and I slice it in half while it's still wet and then I let it dry. Yeah, and then you have two cakes. And I got two cakes. Beautiful. These guys are eating a lot, so I'm going to just put more in here. Yep. Yeah. And I'm going to try and do this without disturbing them. Hopefully. So I'm just going to lay this down. And I'm just going to move it a little bit. And they'll get out of the way. They will. They can go down. They won't get crushed. There's a little bit of, yeah, there's a little bit of comb over here, too. And there's enough room in this insulate in their cover. I'm just going to lay in two of them on top of each other. Yep. And they'll eat their way into it. And they'll eat their way into that. And that is winter feeding. Uh, this has a sugar feed on the top, and it's a long story, but I'm not going to take it off <laughs> right now. So. All right, there you go. Uh, it's 40 degrees out here right now, so that's an okay time, I think, to open up your hives. You can open your hives if it's 30 degrees. You just have to be really quick. You're not going to take the boxes apart. You're going to pop the top and slide in some sugar, and you can close it again. All right. These guys, I'm really glad. They're all in good shape. Uh, hive number five here is the one we put the uh, additional sugar in, and that's been kind of a problem hive for me. So I put in a big spacer, uh, if you saw there, so I could load even more sugar into the thing, and that's what we did there. So. More stuff on our site. We have our beekeeping for beginners series, a bunch of pictures, pictures of the dogs. We also have some Garden Fork radio episodes uh, just about beekeeping as well, which is kind of fun. All right, so make it a great day. Send me an email. I always like to hear from you guys. News, no, what's my email? It's eric at gardenfork.tv. And we have an email newsletter that goes out. If you send an email to news at gardenfork.tv, you got an auto response with information about how to sign up. All right, see you. Thank you.